Hello everyone. This is a quick video on the topic otomycosis and it is very important to differentiate this from the acute otitis externa. So let's get started. Otomycosis is also called as a Singapore ear because a lot of cases are noted in that country. It is a fungal infection of the EAC. So as opposed to otitis externa which is mostly a bacterial infection, this is a fungal infection. Some of the common agents which cause otomycosis are Aspergillus niger and this is the most common. Then we have Aspergillus fumigatus and we have Candida albicans. So usually a patient suffering from otomycosis will not have as much pain or skin edema as seen in acute bacterial otitis externa because that is a more severe disease. Now suppose a person is suffering from an infection of the ear and he does not go to the doctor. Most people will think that it is a bacterial infection. So then this person will go to the pharmacy and tell the pharmacist to give an antibacterial drug for the ear. Now if a person consistently uses this drug, it will cause more harm than benefit because the normal flora of the EAC will be reduced. And so the fungus will have a better chance of expanding and it can worsen the disease. Now what are the clinical manifestations? So here the main complaint will be pruritus, there will be hearing loss. The patient will also have otalgia, which is pain, but it will be less severe as compared to AOE. The patient will also present with otorrhea, which is drainage or liquid coming out of the ear. Now in clinical findings, the colonies of fungi are in their specific colors. So if someone is suffering from Aspergillus niger infection, you will be able to find black colonies. Aspergillus fumigatus will give green colonies, and Canada albicans will give white colonies. So these are a few pictures of the EAC. In the first picture, you can see that there are black colonies. So this is an infection by Aspergillus niger. Next, in the second picture, there are white colonies. So this is Candida albicans. In the third picture, there is a mixture of black and white colonies. So this is a mixed infection. And in the fourth picture, they gave a term which is called wet blotting paper or wet newspaper appearance. So this is basically a debris and if this wet blotting paper or wet newspaper is mentioned in the question, it points towards otomycosis. Now what is the treatment? The main treatment is cleaning of ear by suction method. So by that way you can take out all the colonies and debris that is in the EAC. You can use topical antifungals, for example 1% cortrimazole and you can use 2% salicylic acid in alcohol. The last point of this video, in the question you should look out for any mention of surfing or scuba diving because this increases the chances of getting this infection. And also very important, there is no resolution even using antibacterial drugs. So this obviously points towards an infection which is not bacterial and most likely fungal. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts, so please leave them in the comments or message me on Instagram anytime. The link for the Instagram is in my bio. Thank you.